At just 36 years old, our next guest found herself unable to exercise due to pain in her hip and groin, and she was surprised to find out that the cause was something called FAI. Brooke Nelson is joining me now to share her story. Welcome to the show. Okay, so when did you notice something seemed a little bit wrong? Uh, when I'd exercise or when I'd get down on the ground to play with my kids, I couldn't sit with my legs crossed. It just was too painful. Or if I just tried to walk, it would just be like piercing pain that I'd bring tears to my eyes. You're kidding. It was that bad? Yes. So it was a piercing, like a stabbing, jabbing kind of pain? Yes. And what did you think it might be? Because it seems like you're a young, healthy, in-shape woman, so right. it seems abnormal. Yeah, I thought it was a pulled muscle or a tendon issue. I wasn't sure. Okay, and when, when you finally got the diagnosis, walk me through how that all unfolded. Um, so I went to my family care doctor, and she referred me to Dr. Anderson, my orthopedic surgeon, and um, after that he asked me to try physical therapy or Rosti, and I tried that route first, but it, doesn't, it didn't do any um, good, and so he suggested that I do the surgery. And the, th the surgery is essentially, it's called arthroscopy to remove extra bone and repair the cartilage? Yes. And how did, how did that go? How are you doing today? I'm doing great. No um, more pain? Very slightly. Every once in a while, it'll be a dull ache, but I can live with that. Okay. Well, hold that thought. Okay. Um, a dull ache is better than shooting pains. Yes. Uh, joining us now is orthopedic surgeon with UT Physicians and assistant professor at McGovern Medical School, Dr. Terrence Anderson. So, Dr. Anderson, thanks so much for joining us. Describe exactly what exactly um, FAI is. So, FAI is femoroacetabular impingement, and what it means is that bone has accumulated on one side or the other of the hip joint, which causes uh, the hip not to fit together perfectly any longer. And that imperfect uh, fit causes friction over time with activities, and, and that friction can wear down the hip joint and tear the cartilage. And how does someone know, then, if that is what they are experiencing versus just regular aches and pains? I mean, we just heard Brooke say she thought it was a strained muscle. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's a good question. The, the most common causes of FAI are the hip pain themselves, uh, the, the hip pain itself. The other things that happen sometimes are that the hip will feel like it gets stuck, uh, and the hip, that, the hip can hurt more when there is prolonged sitting, for instance, on a long car ride or in a movie. If the pain does not get better with standard conservative or non-operative measures, including physical therapy or occasionally injection, then we have to start looking at FAI as a potential cause. Okay, and also Brooke mentioned the procedure, the arthroscopy that she had done. Describe to us that process, because I feel like a lot of people, they just hear the, the term surgery, and that immediately is a bit scary sounding. Yeah, it is, and no one should undertake surgery lightly. But if your pain is at the point where it's limiting your lifestyle, it's, it's reasonable to consider getting a hip arthroscopy in this case. And that procedure involves making tiny incisions, two, sometimes three, around the hip joint, uh, and using long instruments, including a camera, to perform the surgery, which is to remove the bone and to repair any of the torn cartilage. The recovery is dependent upon the amount of work done, but oftentimes folks are off the crutches within two weeks or maybe three weeks, and the athletes in the group are usually back to their sport within four to six months. All right, Dr. Terrence Anderson with UT Physicians, thank you so much for the info. So back now with Brooke, describe to us your recovery process because the doctor was just mentioning that they're very small incisions. What was your experience? Yeah, the incisions were really small. It was more just getting used to walking on it again after the three weeks of crutches and um, just letting that t the time heal. So you feel like now with your kids and your daily activities, life is sort of back to normal? Yes, it's way back to normal, yes. Okay, well, I'm glad you're feeling better, Brooke. Thank you so much for stopping by. And if you all would like to schedule an appointment or for more information, you can call 888-4-UT-DOCS or you can visit utphysicians.com. Still ahead on Houston Life, are you planning a 